Welcome back to another video and before we start I just wanted to say how thankful I am Thank you for all the love and support on my first video. It really means a lot to me. I'm just I'm so happy right now. I'm hoping that I can like keep up with the content and stuff that's like Some of you guys really enjoy it. So um, I'll try to keep posting consistently I will be posting some gaming videos, so look out for those. But, um, let's get into today's video. Before I start, I need to clear all this, all the counter space, so I can place the pan. So. Boom. Okay, so now that we've cleared off the counter, I think it is ready to make the quickie s'mores. Also, um, if you want, I will be putting the recipe in my description down below, so you can go check out how to make these quickie s'mores either by scratch or you can just buy the ingredients and just do what I do. Okay. All right, so the first step is to take your ban and your pan and then lather it with some of your baking spray. I'm using Baking Joy. And you're basically just gonna wanna lather that on there. I'm gonna have to clean that up. All right, now I'm going to get the main things, the graham crackers, the chocolate chips, and the, the marshmallows. Got it. So I just realized that I didn't have all the ingredients for my little cookie s'mores and stuff. So now I have to run to the store and grab the graham crackers and some Hershey bars because I'm not going to use the chocolate chips. Because the cookies are already kind of chocolate chips already, so. Alright, so I guess I'll meet you guys at the store. Chocolates. I'm going to get these Hershey bars, 16 pieces. Um, but I still need the jam. Oh, found them. All right, so we're gonna get the honey made graham crackers, and I guess I'll need you back. Okay. Now that we finally have our graham crackers and our chocolate, we can finally start making these cookie s'mores. So basically, all you want to do is just open up your graham crackers and then lay them out on the pan. Um, it depends on how many you want. I'm probably going to just make at least six, maybe four, but uh, yeah. Okay, so the graham crackers were a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but this is basically how it should look on the pan, depending on how many you want. Alright, so I have about eight, I think. Yeah, I have eight graham crackers, so that means I'm going to be making eight s'more cookies. Alright, the next thing you want to do is take your chocolate bar. Ooh. Okay, um... The next thing I want to do is take your chocolate bar, open it up, and then place the chocolate on top of the graham crackers. Alright, after you lay out your chocolate, it should look uh, something a little bit like that. It might look different depending on whether you use chocolate chips or not. The next step 
of making these cookies are the marshmallows. I have the small mini marshmallows from Great Value. You can use any type of marshmallows you want, I think. But uh, I'm going to be using the mini marshmallows because those were the only marshmallows I could find. So. All right, so I did the the I did the marshmallows and I put them onto the chocolate and the graham cracker. Please use the giant ones because this is so frustrating. But it looks good. There's no marshmallows on the sides or anything. Now here's the fun part: you get your cookie dough. So it turned out that I didn't have enough cookie dough to cover all eight of them, so I had to tone it down to make six of them. And then I added a small little cookie dough piece like right there because what if I want a small little tiny chocolate chip cookie? Because why not? All right, so after you lay out your cookie dough, you can finally do the next step, fire. And if there are any kids watching me uh, make these treats, I highly suggest that you get your parents or a guardian to help watch you and help with this next step. What you're going to want to do next is set your oven to 350 degrees and preheat that. Once it's preheated, you are able to put your cookie dough batter treat into the oven for 13 minutes. So I guess I'll see you in 13 minutes. All right, so it's finally time to, ooh, they, ooh, they are big, ooh, ooh, that one in the back look good. All right, I think it's time to take them out now. Okay, so I got my, uh, my oven mitt. Be careful because it's really hot. I've already burnt my hand like two times on the stove before, and I do not plan on getting burnt again. It smells so good. Ooh, that one's big. Ooh. All right. Oh, this one got brown. I don't think I can eat that one. All right. All right, turn that off. There we go. All right. Before I try that, I'm just gonna let it cool for like a couple of minutes, like five minutes, and then I'll actually try it, so. It is time for the moment of truth. Is this as good as people on TikTok say it is? So they say if you lift it up, you should see the graham cracker at the bottom. I do. Ooh, this is so... Okay, it smells good. But does it taste good? Got my milk right here. Can't drink milk and cookies. You can't just drink but. You can't just eat cookies and not drink milk with it. Alright, I'm gonna snap it. Oh, okay. Let's see. Dude, when I tell you, mm, okay, mm. this is good. Now that that right there is a good cookie. Please make this recipe. It is so. So good, like mixed with the marshmallow. You can taste the crunch of the graham cracker mixed with the stretchiness and the softness of the marshmallow. It is so good, and then the chocolate. It just has that extra flavor in it. Ooh, that's good. Mm. All right, so I'm 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 gonna see what my dad thinks. I gotta wipe my hands off, but I'm gonna see what my dad thinks of the cookie.
Dad? Can you try the cookie? He liked it. I liked it. It is really good. So soft. 10 out of 10. I will definitely recommend that you should try this. It is so good. It's a perfect snack. But I'm going to finish the rest of those cookies up there. Forget sharing. But, mm. Well, that will do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it so, so much. Please like and subscribe to this video and put on the post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, please. And until next time, brothers and sisters, bye. Didn't know.